City of Conversation offers, uh, I think, a witty, entertaining, uh, deeply personal, surprising exploration of American life, both during the Carter years, the Reagan years, right up to the inauguration of Obama. And it does it in a way through the story of a family drama. I think in many ways that's what the play is about, except it's not centered in a president, it's centered in a character, Hester Ferris, played by Christine Lottie who is this doyenne of Washington society. She would bring all these powerful men together and then she would facilitate conversation between Republicans and Democrats and get things done. It's wonderful to be able to visit this 1979 to 1987 to 2009 and visit it now while we're experiencing this strange election process. What Tony's play is exploring is a time uh, when there was a place and an opportunity for both Republicans and Democrats to drop their battles and perhaps be convinced to another way or at least understand where the other side was coming from. I'm fascinated with, you know, political sort of huge ideas versus you know, the, this interpersonal relationships of a family and how they, those two things can sort of bash up against each other. And I feel like with social media, we have this influx of noise and opinions and very, very strong opinions and it's a very polarized conversation. And I'm hoping that this gives people what it's given me so far, which is the, the time to actually sit and appreciate the other opinion. Are we willing to put an idea before a son or a grandson. And uh, if we are, what, what is the pain and the loss of that choice? But I think they'll, they'll see themselves in lots of different characters, I, and I think they'll be surprised at um, who they identify with at times. I think this play is really trying to, I think, trying to say we've got to get back to some kind of attempt to understand each other and celebrating our differences rather than um, rejecting each other because of them. I always say, you know, in Watergate, the expression was follow the money. For me as a director, almost in everything I work on, it's follow the love. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're trying to follow the love.